Hey guys, welcome to Brown Girl Finance Friday. And today I will be teaching you how to make a email marketing campaign like the one you see here to help you gain more customers and keep your customers that you already have up to date. So without further ado, I'm gonna jump right into this video. So the first thing I'm gonna do is open my Shopify app and I'm gonna go to marketing in the menu. And it's going to take me to my emails. You have the option of making an automated one or a campaign. Today, I will be showing you campaigns. Those are ones I already have done. But as an automated message, that just means like abandoned cart messages. You know, where have you been messages. Welcome to our site messages. Thank you for your order messages. That's what automation is. But this is um, about marketing. So we're going to stick to that. This is the app that I use to send out my newsletters. The one with the unicorn. I'm just kind of showing you all the options. But I will put the uh, the whatever my app is called down below, Sergio or whatever. This is what I use, and I like it because it's like it's very mobile compatible. And I do most of it on my phone. Um, so right here, I'm just typing in the title. You have to have an activity name, so you just type in like whatever your the title of your email is. But this is not what they're gonna see. This is what you're gonna see. And here I am scheduling when I want my email to go out, the date and time. And that's when we go to all my email subscribers. The next thing I'm typing is that subject. Now, this is what they will see. This is what you see when you first open your email and you see that you got an email, um, the header. So we all know what a header is. And this is the preview text. You know how your email shows you like a little bit of what's inside the email. So you want to make these two very captivating, you know, like very captivating, like say, uh, so that's why I put something like, hey, try this. Or, hey, um, I'm showing you something today, like something that gains your um, your reader's interest to make them want to open an email. So these two lines are very important. Here I'm adding a discount. So what you do is you type in whatever old discounts, whatever discounts you already have on your uh, Shopify, and you just use that same code. But what the email system would do is it'll give everybody its own code. I'll, I'll show you that in a minute. So here I'm clicking generate unique code. So what that'll do is that'll give each email a separate code, so that way you know which email subscriber use which code. Like what I mean, whatever if we want to do with that information, but I just like doing that because it helps me keep track. So I'm giving you a preview of what it looks like so far. If you scroll down and give you a um a preview. That's my set customization. I'm gonna do a customization video probably next week. I should do that one first, but hey. Okay, so here I'm adding a picture. You can either add pictures that you have already uploaded. These are from my phone, or they have free stock that you can use, like free photos you can use. But I'm just going to use a photo that I already use for the purposes of this video. And that's the image that they're going to see when they open that email. Now, here is very important, too, because when they click on that image, it takes them somewhere. So you can change it. You can either leave it to your website, which is automatically uploaded in there. Um, or you can change the link so it takes them somewhere else. I'm about to show you how to do that right now. I'm going to just paste copy this link to my website and put it in my um, Safari search bar. And it's going to take me to my website. And once it does that, that's just showing you where it's going to take you. But I wanted to take it to, I wanted to take my um, subscriber straight to my lip gloss page lip gloss part so I'm gonna click on the lip gloss um part of my website and I'm gonna copy that link and then I'm gonna paste and copy where I took the other link from my phone was moving kind of slow so I'm taking that link and I'm gonna put it back in that so that way when they click on the image that I chosen for my email that's where the link will take them and here is just like a header for, you know, whatever you want to write, whatever paragraph you're going to write about, like, what you're selling or about your business or whatever you want to write. Um, here, I'm just letting them know, like, what this email is about. is basically how to get a free lip gloss when you order, you know, $25 or wait, how to get a free lip gloss. So I make sure my title is very engaging, which makes them want to read more. Sometimes I write a lot, sometimes I write a little, but here I'm just telling them, hey, if you purchase uh, $25 or more worth of items, you get a free full-size lip gloss with your order. Just type in. You can type as much as you want. I haven't had a limit yet. I have literally typed books in here. So... 
Rubik's Cube to use the space. Okay, so after that, it's going to be a shop now button. That's what's down below. Sometimes I change it to read more if I do an article, but I'm just going to leave it at shop now. And when they click that, that will take them to your website. Again, you can do the same thing I did up front where you change where you want them to take them or you put it uh, or you leave it like that to your website. And there I just added like a, a product, a feature product. You could add as many products as you like, but I'll add maybe one or two because I don't want to overwhelm them. But it's like, hey, maybe you should purchase this. Here is what the email is going to look like. And it even applies the discount code that you gave them in the beginning. So it's like enticing them to buy. But I do want to say it's not all your emails should be like buy this, buy that. Some of, some of the emails I send out, a lot of them are just informational emails about like makeup, about what's going on in the world pertaining to makeup, like anything that's in my niche. Sometimes, or like, because I do uh, monthly themes, so I send out like themed emails and stuff like that. Or if I got like new content as far as like makeup videos I want to show them, I send them stuff like that. So, I mean, get creative, but don't be always begging for money. Here, I'm just like going to um, send an email to... I thought I was just sending it to myself, but I forgot it goes out to everybody. So luckily, it's still like a valid email, but I'm sending this out so you guys can see what it looks like when it comes to the mailbox. I mean, it shows you that in the beginning, but I'm just going to do it again. And I'm going to show you how all the links work. But that's pretty much it. And that is how you make a marketing campaign on Shopify. All right. So here is what the email is going to look like when it goes to your email list. It's pretty cute. I love it. And that's what happens when they click on the image. It takes it straight to your website so they can begin purchasing. And that is my subscriber pop-up. So that's how I get email subscribers.